Hi, I'm super excited. Today we'll do another windowsill grower interview and it will be Antonin from France. So coming up. Bonjour Antonin. Uh, thank you Hello. for, uh, for uh, showing us uh, your uh, windowsill. Uh, that's going to be a different one because it's not fully on the windowsill, right? It's a little bit yeah. on the side. And you are from France, so you're the first one, the first uh, <laughs> French guy to show us uh, your windowsill. So thanks a lot for that. And yeah. uh, yes, introduce yourself and uh, we will go from there. Okay. So um, I'm uh, Antonin. Uh, I'm from uh, Alma City, uh, near to Switzerland in France. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, I will present you my setup in uh, two parts. Okay. Uh, do, what uh, is uh, the temperature outside? Do you have cold winter or what uh, kind of? Yeah, uh, it's kind of a uh, cold winter, like yeah. uh, minus five to zero degree, mm -hmm. and uh, hot summer, like uh, 30 to 32 degrees inside. Oh, okay, wow. Okay, nice. Okay, and inside uh, the temperature range between inside the temperature range will be uh, like uh, twenty two degree uh, mm -hmm. in winter, twenty two to sixteen, and in summer it can be up to twenty eight. Wow, some uh, hard, <laughs> some <laughs> yeah, hard okay. summer day, and uh, twenty eight to twenty three, something like that. Wow. Oh, that's a big change between. Yes, a big change between um, the season. Okay. And every plant handle it. Well, you will show us your plants. Yeah, so, uh, for sure. Um, yeah, yeah, start. If you can show us your plants, and I will probably shoot a lot of questions. But uh, yeah. Yeah, I show you. So that's the first part of my setup. Uh, it's a proper window seal uh, with natural sunlight. And the second part with uh, nice. LED supplements. So mm -hmm. we're going to switch on this part first. Mm -hmm. um, I've got five uh, hanging pots with, um, in my opinion, huge Nepenthes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pretty easy one, uh, like uh, Bloody Mary, Ventrata, Rebecca Sopper, uh, Bocorensis, mm -hmm. and uh, Mixta. It's uh, Maxima by so that's, okay, uh, nice. that's the same. And they uh, handle? Maxima yeah. Norciana and the, the cold. Yeah, sure, sure. She's yes. uh, she's very uh, very very uh, robust hybrid. Uh, don't mind to to have cold or is a uh, hot summer. He's doing okay. pretty fine. I was afraid of uh, Norciana because it's lowland and uh, me it's cold in my windowsill. So but, yeah, uh, now but, we'll uh, probably try. Maxima Maxima is uh, yeah. so powerful. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and the pots? Can't miss it. They are like what? Net pot? Nice. Yeah, it's, it's net pot. So there is a good um, root uh, airflow system. So the um, the problem is the pot uh, dry very yeah fast, very easily, but uh, it's uh, optimal. I think it's okay. optimal for Nepenthes. Uh, like this, you just have to, um, for example, bath them. Like uh, oh yeah okay 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 yeah Makes every sense. three day you put it uh, in a bucket okay. and bath them uh, okay. like uh, so my question minutes. is what is under those pots the, the water will drop right yeah the water will drop uh, I just hang them oh, uh, somewhere okay, for a few and, minutes uh, yeah it makes sense and the water yeah. drop uh, back in the, in the buckets okay nice. And the water is rainwater, reverse osmosis? Uh, yes, it's, it's reverse osmosis. Uh, I've got to, to buy it. I've buy uh, a lot of um, gallon, uh, yeah. but uh, two, two years ago, I said enough. I build, uh, I buy a, a reverse osmosis and, uh, yeah. and now it's, uh, it's perfect. I've got uh, unlimited supply. Okay. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. And um, now this is the um, second part. Okay. So second part was uh, more an additionally set up because uh, I was um, uh, one years ago like uh, frenzy. Uh, <laughs> 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 so, yeah, uh, with the COVID, it, everybody <laughs> jumped on the plant. <laughs> I get yes, that. Yes. And uh, and yeah, um, I need more space, and I found um, 
this uh, this setup with uh, two LED lights. It's for terrarium light. Okay. So it's waterproof. Uh, waterproof, yeah. Nice. So that's that's very uh, convenient when you you use uh, a spray. So you spray. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't have any uh, device to um, yeah. to uh, to do uh, mist or to calculate my hydrometry. I just doing uh, yeah. by myself like that. Okay. And uh, in this setup, that's um, I've got some more like um, hard Nepenthes, I yeah. would say. Um, got uh, Nepenthes la, who ask uh, a lot more of, of care, uh, a lot more of um, of minimal light and um, and watering. So, for example, um, we've I got... I guess before you start, yes. how many species or cross do you have? Uh, I would say uh, 70. Okay, uh, okay because I, I'm seeing a lot of pots and a lot of different yeah. shapes. That's a lot of yeah, plants. Okay. That's a lot. Cool. That's a lot. And uh, that's uh, sometimes mixed between island, okay. lowland, and intermediate. So mm -hmm. okay. it's, a big, uh, it's a big mix. Yeah. Okay. Um, Where do so you want to start? Yeah, for example, I've got uh, this huge one. It's a um, spatulata by Cliptea. Oh, uh, it's an absolute... keep, keep it okay. yeah it's an absolute uh, unit of plants it's growing very very fast okay uh, and it's pretty common here in Europe uh, I've got Boshana. it's featuring all the time um I've uh, moved her in uh, Newport uh, oh yeah four sure. months ago yeah. so she stopped featuring but she growing leaves like very easily and I think I will have pitch up pretty soon. Okay. So she's uh, two years old. Two wow. Years. Yeah, she's uh, just taking over. It's very, very good grapes, I think. And uh, this one is um, Nepenthes Boschiana. With pure? Uh, yeah, pure Boschiana, who is going uh, very well here. Is uh, It has been uh, sent me by a friend. Uh, and uh, I was uh, also uh, astonished by the um, the power of this plant. She's growing very well. Uh, I moved her uh, at the same time uh, of this one, so she's not picturing for the moment. But uh, but she she will uh, doing uh, she will doing uh, the most uh, during the the fall maybe. She she don't like summer. Nice. Um, just uh, right here, I've got uh, a truncata inamis. That's mm. a very interesting cross for me because uh, it's combined two very different shaped plants, and uh, is going very, very good. It's a uh, very good intermediate and easy plant. Um, just around here, I've got a Reinwartiana, okay. the, re the red form. Uh, she didn't picturing for, for the moment. Um, it's kind of easy plan, but um, <laughs> I got a little bit of trouble with uh, struggle with it. But uh, okay. it's fine. It's fine. She will be picturing again uh, in fall also. And around A, we've got uh, Brinksiana. Uh, I think uh, a lot of known uh, Brinksiana. It's a cross between Ventricosa. And low we eye. Very nice. It's a very, very easy cross. Very good shape. Uh, this is Nepentashanyana. Get oh. a lot of uh, air in the leaf. Okay. And green, completely green uh, trap. Nice. I've got an Inamis just there. Uh, freshly imported from Wistubia. Uh, Truncata. Um, Spectabilis uh, by Spatuata by Lowei. Wow. Nice. Uh, Nepenthes Bungso, so tiny, but uh, okay. Bungso is yeah. Yeah, Bungso is is doing is doing. Can I ask you the temperature? Uh, the, sorry, the, the humidity you have. Uh, I think uh, for the first part, the proper window seal, it's around sixty percent. Okay. And here, I think it's seventy uh, percent or more. I think. Okay. Wow. Because yeah, uh, yeah he, if there is not seventy percent, I think 
this kind of of uh, of plant like uh, in Amis wouldn't grow properly. Yeah. Sure. So she's going she's going right. Uh, I've got an in a miss low eye around here, but she's also tiny. We don't see the trap. Uh, a bigger truncata. You yeah, any kind uh, truncata? It's uh, like a special clone uh, or uh, this one I don't know. She's she's like um, she's going pretty good red. But I don't know. This is a reddish leaf. Uh, this one is a uh, Midano Philippine, so it's a uh, okay. normal one. Mm -hmm. And this one is the uh, the reddish leaf. Okay. Uh, but she she's doing some white stuff. Uh, the, yeah. the, the 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 picture and the leaf going white. I don't know why. If someone have the explanation in comment, yeah. uh, I I'm would interested know. to know too. Uh, ah, Vichai Lowiai, who is going to be very huge soon. Yeah. Uh, very easy plan, too, for me. Uh, Vogiliai, around here. Album pure, Marginata. also. You have yeah. a lot of pure species. Yeah, um, pure Vogiliai, pure Albo Marginata, uh, Baikal Karata, Madagascariensis. Um, yeah, pure species going on the lead, uh, pretty okay. Pretty okay, I think. Uh, yeah. Uh, ah, an ampularia. Where is the trap? Yeah. Little trap. Going pretty good. And uh, fancy one, Vichai, Lowiai by Raja. And uh, and that's it. That's <laughs> that's a lot of plant. I think uh, I can't okay. detail everyone. Uh, pure Anata here. Adnata okay. is pretty nice and tiny pitcher. And Spectabilis Platicaila, who is going very, is coming along very easily in my setup. Yeah. Okay, that's really interesting. You have some really low land and yeah. some intermediate. So. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. And all the low land uh, pitcher nicely? Um, Let's say um, I'm I'm like growing with season. Oh yeah, like, yeah. Okay. Uh, in winter, the the lowland uh, didn't like it very much, so they growing leaves, but they don't pitch up. Mm -hmm. And during summer, because I've got, uh, as I told you, uh, mm -hmm. very hot summer here, the the lowland are doing pretty well and and growing uh, pitch up properly. So um, that's a switch, like. Uh, Someday I've got pictures, someday not. So, um, okay. so it's okay. It's okay to to have the yeah. both plant next to it. I don't know if may, maybe uh, when they are becoming adults, there will be some difficulties to keep it, to keep it uh, at the proper condition. Mm -hmm. But at this stage, uh, it's pretty okay. Okay. Oh, you have uh, Elianfora on the right, right? Ah, yeah. Uh, pretty old one, uh, like uh, one my of my first. Uh, Carnivorous plant when I coming in Europe, so uh, she's uh, eight years old maybe. Oh, cool. Okay. And two orchids, <laughs> little <laughs> orchids. <laughs> yeah, but they're still looking fantastic. Okay, uh, Antonin, thank you for uh, sharing all this. I have a few uh, questions. If uh, somebody that uh, wants to uh, do the same as you, where to ask? Uh, what are your uh, pro tips? What would it be? So what I would say is, um, so let's imagine you have uh, proper condition, like you have enough sunlight or a good, good water. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say uh, begin step by step when cultivating Nepenthes. Uh, go for the easy one, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, go for Bloody Mary, go for Ventrata. They are gorgeous. They can grow in very big and being very rewarding. Mm -hmm. And uh, there, is, there are um, more tolerance. Yeah. So they got this resilience. If you mm -hmm. made mistake, yeah. that, that will happen when you begin. Uh, mm -hmm. They can handle it and then can regrow faster, stronger. Yeah, and okay. there is not the case for a um, pretty tricky one. Like mm. uh, if you start by an Inamis because you are just fond of the trap, but uh, you mm. can't uh, yeah. 
cultivate properly. So going step by step, uh, take easy nepen tests, make your mistake, and improve, get, um, find your proper setup, yeah. your proper light condition, your proper um, water condition, and then you can go on a more fancy, more, mm -hmm. more uh, tricky one, for sure. Nice. Do you have advice for people that want to do the hanging pots? Because yes. a lot of people that say it will dry fast. Uh, yeah. It's because of the hanging pot that you have low humidity and you don't have pictures because, yeah. The, the hanging pots, uh, you have to remember that uh, if you, you're doing uh, cultivation, you have to, to go along with time. So that makes time to, to watering all these spots uh but they need to and i like to um as i said the, the root system like to be uh to have enough flow uh in it yeah. and i think it's very important to to picture the plants this one has no uh no hole you know uh i've just uh, watered it every uh like two weeks hmm. so okay. very uh not the same frequency uh that this yeah. plant But you know, uh, there is not much picture for the moment. It's like struggling a bit, uh, and this one was uh, in a, in a more uh, not more efficient uh, pot. But ah, désolé, je me suis un peu perdu. T'inquiète pas. Désolé. And this and this plant with a, a better airflow, uh, yeah. going along with a better picture. Uh, greater shape looking so um, i just recommend to try it and uh, to okay. um, to coming along with uh, with bath uh, every every three days yeah yeah and we just uh, are uh, in spring i mean uh, so they mm. are they don't have any uh, supplement light right on the window seal so no. that that's the, probably the why it's uh, it's, uh, it's uh, natural sunlight pure okay natural. oh what is uh, facing the window Um, what is facing the window? Yeah. Um, that, that's, that's, an, an, uh, that's an, a, a good one. Because, you know, I've got uh, a building uh, face oh, yeah. in front of me. And uh, oh. she's white. Oh. So uh, I'm um, uh, north, uh, northeast uh, orientation. Mm -hmm. And when the sun goes down on my back, The, um, the face building uh, reflect a lot of light and uh, in the afternoon I've got a lot of indirect sunlight uh, in my setup. Oh, nice. So that's the thing too. That's the thing okay. I, I forgot to mention it. Cool. Uh, I don't have any more questions right now. So um, uh, I really want to thank you for... Uh, your bravery as a French to accept uh, <laughs> to share your windowsill with us. And uh, yeah, if every if someone have the, the answer for your white uh, truncata, um, yeah, they can know. shoot in the know. comments. Yeah. And uh, thank you again. Uh, it was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Remy. I hope you enjoyed this interview as much as I did. Uh, I hope we'll be able to do more interview uh, like that in the future. So uh, stay tuned and until next time, happy growing.